Tonight, it's Madden NFL Football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. see Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the NFC champions the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, for these Kansas City Chiefs, they, of course, were Super Bowl champions three years ago. The win over the Niners in Miami. They fell to the Bucs in Tampa a couple years back. They had the blown lead in the AFC title game against Cincinnati last year. And now they're back, making their third trip to the big game in four years. And their recent history only increases the urgency to try and win another Super Bowl title with this group. Meanwhile, it took until Super Bowl 52 for the Eagles to lift the Lombardi Trophy for the first time. And not too many players are left from that squad five years ago. But this new group is looking to write a new chapter of Eagles lore. Yeah, we certainly all remember that performance in the win over New England. Nick Foles throwing for 373 yards, catching the Philly special that will go down as one of the most iconic play calls in Super Bowl history. Now they're back and looking to make it two titles in six years. is finally set and here we go Super Bowl 57 is underway and we will not have a return so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25 Phillies offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them the second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Hey, we all heard about it in the offseason. There were many questions asking if Philadelphia might consider bringing in another quarterback to replace Jalen Hurts. He answered emphatically, this is my team, and he led them to a Super Bowl appearance. A well-deserved moment. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Got it inside the 10 at the 8. That good for 19 at a first down. There was a little space there, yes, but that was a well-executed run by the rookie. It was, and he wasn't one of the higher-rated rookie running backs coming out. He was probably on the next tier. But let me tell you something. If he becomes more consistent and continues to have that drive to be one of the best, we'll see more of that in the future. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco punching it in from a yard away. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. 
And I'm sure for these guys, a break from the conference championship in the Super Bowl seems so long to get out here and score that first touchdown has to take some tension out of the game. Oh, I love the point you just made about the gap between. Think about the pressure that is built in the interim to come out and get the first points in the Super Bowl. Fantastic for the team. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. Nifty move. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. He'll get this to about the 38. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. It's a gain of just a couple there, but it's enough to get him to first. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Right back to Sanders on first down. And it's a solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. He's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he takes this just... Now the red challenge flag makes an appearance as Andy Reid wants a second opinion. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Flush to his right. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. Here's 
this hurts to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against them. Now they have to try and pick it up here moving forward. Buying time to his left. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Throwing his Hurts. The quick slam caught. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Elliott good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So that drive spans 13 plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. On first and 10, it's Sanders. We're down to the 41. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Hurts. Open man has got it, the tight end. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. The kick by Elliott is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And Mahomes finding his burner Hardman for the KC first. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now Mahomes. 
Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. A nice pickup of 17 yards. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Four yards, the pickup, first down. throw it's Mahomes and that going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down here's second and ten now from the 29 from the gun they will run with McKinnon they'll get only three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead but that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. From the left hash, this from 46. Butker's kick here is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. On first and ten, it hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 39. One quarter done, three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 10-10 is the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13. And that last play began at the 13. First down. They go play action with Hurts. Steps away to his left. And oh, it'll be intercepted. 
Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. <laughs> True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. And he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20. 53 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. Mahomes now on first down. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. On third and short, the fullback Burton. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. There you go, partner. That's an old-school football right there. You need one yard? Give it to your bruiser fullback and let him get the job done. Mahomes now on first down. Pass incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. To throw again on second down. Mahomes going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. They'll try and run it in with Burton. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mike Burton taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And that's why you have the fullback. Charles couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have it. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. 97 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in his first half. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Here's Mahomes to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. So the penalty rightfully declined. They'll keep the yardage on the completion. Still some disagreement by the defense, though, because he thought that was just good, strong coverage, and the contact's going both ways, so why is there a flag? In the end, though, doesn't matter. Still a completed pass. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. And the Eagles are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. He's going deep for Brown. And that is going to be called in one-handed. Wow. A big play there for Philly. 42 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Looking to throw. And they'll work this down inside the 30. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. And he'll be brought down at the 27. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. So not only do you not get the first down, but you've also made things a lot more difficult on your field goal kicker. Yeah, they're still in range, but you're exactly right because you know the kicker's over there saying, thanks a lot, you just made my job a little tougher because when he kicks it now, he'll kick it lower because he's got to get more distance. That means there's more jeopardy for the ball to get tipped or blocked. Still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. But you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now a handoff running through the middle. And he'll be out of bounds. 124 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. They'll try with McKinnon. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chiefs continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Butker on for the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much more pressure on every possession for you. From the 31, Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On the draw, here's Sanders. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Second down at five. They'll drop to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Over the middle complete. It's Brown. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is down to four. 
So that drive in total eight plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that nearly intercepted. Well, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Here's a give up the middle. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. The last run got six, now second and four. Handoff to the fullback, Burton. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now about that call, handed to the big guy in that situation. Normally you think of him as a real short yardage runner, but in this case, they trust him to get a few more yards than that. I remember an old New York Giants quarterback, a Super Bowl winning quarterback, telling me he loves offense coordinators who call the plays with a little bit of abandon. They go play fake. Mahomes. He's got Burton here. It'll go as a gain of four. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Oh, they needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. 
two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up second down. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. I throw, but he makes the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 33. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now a handoff running through the middle. 157 yards for him on the ground. Oh, he has been a tough man to bring down all night. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 27, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's a give up the middle. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his second touchdown this Super Bowl and the Chiefs will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl well fair to say they've got something here this rookie running back and he's in for the second time of the ball game and Brandon it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover a lot of competition at that spot but he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on extra point by Butker is on target and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, 
it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw again. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 40. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. The Sanders has got it complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. 13 yards remaining on second down. They'll look to throw again. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 11 more on that one and another first down. I actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Kenneth Gainwell, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he's not going to get in as a try for two comes up empty. So they will be unable to cut this to a field goal as the differential remains five. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's closing in on 200 yards on the ground with the fourth quarter still to come. We're in the third. Good shot to get there. And now he's got to make sure he convinces his coaching staff to leave him. Touching the ball because... From the 25 on second down, Mahomes, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now here's Mahomes. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. 
This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Running it with a fullback, Burton. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Mike Burton, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. For the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And we're at the time in the Super Bowl where, look, they need points, and they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They're going to look to throw. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 yards. He'll look to throw. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Throwing again on second down, Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. They'll look to throw here, eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Okay, so thought they might go for it here down late. Instead, they trot out the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. The kick by Elliott is good. And that lead is back down to nine now. So he remains perfect. Three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now... 
You know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. Now McKinnon to start the drive. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Instead of the first, he'll have to go backwards for another second down try. So if there is a silver lining, though, it stays second down, and they still have an opportunity to pick up a first down before they have to start their downs over again. A lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Looking underneath, and he finds McKinnon. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I, I like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. So this offense able to convert on fourth. And now a fresh set of downs here. First and ten. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll go down at the 28. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So after the run by McKinnon, here's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They run once more with McKinnon. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and short, McKinnon. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three, it leaves him with fourth and one. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This from 36 yards out. But 
Packers kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. But first down, Hurts dancing to his left. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began the play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Hurt sets up to throw it. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 28. Forced out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So second and four from the 22. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Joshua Williams with a pick. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.